Welcome down to Devon Koi Pond on this, uh, what we call it, beautiful sunny Devon spring morning. As you can see, the covers are still on the pond at the moment. We're getting that way. Easter coming up. I think they'll be taking the covers off that week. Um, extreme thanks to all those that uh, wish me uh, well with the uh, I mean, gallstones. Um, the last couple of weeks actually hasn't been so bad. But from Christmas, I had two months there where I had pain every single day. Now it's been every two, three days I've had a day of it. So I've not been so bad the last couple of weeks. So something's moved a little bit and a little bit's uh, getting through or something. So I'm a little bit better. But uh, I've actually got a consult private consultation uh, 19th the next month. And hopefully I'll have the op within uh, two, three, four weeks of that. They seem to be pretty busy, even private. But there. So that should be that sorted, but I am feeling a little bit better at the moment. Which uh, is going to need to, because I'm going to have to get down here and do something down here. We're going to get the spring stuff ready. Do the pond, we're going to do a little bit of power washing today. Um, might video a little bit of it, depends how much I'm puffing and panning doing it. Weight, I've kind of stabilised, maybe gone up a pound, down a pound, up a pound, up two pound. and It's about stable. Um, because I've been eating actually better with fat, not been in so much pain, I've been able to eat better, which I'm doing. Um, with the laser cutting, um, those around Christmas, now I started doing the gates and the weed gates for the 200, 220. Remind you, I'll stick down below, I've got a link for those for sale. One thing, sold a few of these now, good reports on it. Same with the uh, 300 gates and the 300 weed gates, 300, 320. They're uh, going well. Had uh, one little report back with slight problem. Didn't see it was a bit tight in the guy's um, Nexus 300. Uh, couldn't understand it. Um, then I was looking at the pictures. It was a brand spanking new one, and he didn't have any water in it. Yeah. So I think uh, they swap a little bit. These are a little bit bigger than the standard ones. They are a better fit. All right. It's only a uh, few millimeters. But seems to make all the difference. But without water in it, didn't seem to fit in. But I've sent him a slightly smaller one, exact size, same size as the uh, original that comes with the thing. So that'll fit in it with no water in it. Hopefully, the bigger one he got will fit in when uh, it has got water in it. Tighter fit. So there's those. Also, don't forget, I got the Easy Pod caps for sale. They're still a bargain for what they are. They're on eBay. Find them on eBay. Um, pretty John. My partner, she does all the handling of the stuff on eBay. They're for sale on there. So all those goodies are on there. I've got some plaques on there as well for sale if you want to purchase anything. Right, so I'll pop you in on the uh, solar a minute. We'll have a quick uh, smidgey at that, see what's going on. Um, I thought it was coming up 12 months, but it was actually it's actually 11 months. And I've made uh, about 214 quid off of it. So I'm not grumbling. Another month is probably going to add another 14, 15 quid to that quite easily. So it's going to be about 230 quid in 12 months. Very nice. Okay. As I'm saying with all that, I'll go to a little bit more after we pop in and have a look a minute. So right. back with you in a second. Here we are in the workshop. Um, here's a clip I'll put up in the corner. This is the uh, electric uh, smart meter inside. And here we are, quick clip in the house, washing machines on and everything. So all the household running, washing machine, everything, and we're not using anything. All the ponds running outside, nothing at all. Zero watts coming in. It's uh, handsome. Well, 20 minutes ago, it's, uh, as you can see, it's running zero. And here, the time now actually is what's on the fans here. So three minutes past 10, sun's out. House is using zero electric. She happens to have the washing machine on as well. Batteries are charging. I've got a little problem with a split charging system I've got at the moment. So uh, I just use uh, this battery charger here at the moment I'm using. Which is actually charging off the mains. But the mains power is uh, what's coming in from the solar anyway. So actually on the solar clocks here. We've got uh, one bank is producing 306 watts, the other bank 297. It's uh, only just half 10 in the morning, as I said, so the household electric's free at the moment. And uh, all this from two banks of 460 watts of panels, so 9, 
uh, no, 480 watts of panels in it. So uh, 960 watts of panels in total, right? And uh, I'm making 600, 600 watts. So that's more than a lot more than what the house is using. So the batteries are charging at the moment. Some of the ponds running off the solar, i.e., through the batteries through another inverter. So I'm quite happy with this. So it's a yearly roundup. So it would be the end of the day, but I'll do it now as I'm here. 24th of March. We've actually made this year 214 pounds 48 in savings on the two banks. That's 12 months of running. I'll pop all the figures up here on the side someplace over here um, off 960 watts of panels. So I think if my memory's right, what you should say it make in a year off of a kilowatt's worth of panels, uh, you should make a saving of um, about 850 kilowatt hours. So at that, with the quick sums, well, well, yeah, we probably made about 860 kilowatt hours. So a little bit more than was expected. I was expecting around a 200 pound mark. We made 214. And uh, that's from panels that are at the right angle in the sun. At the right spot, my panels aren't, they're flat on a roof. They do get sun longer in the day, but uh, it's a little bit up and down still, as you can see, but averaging around the 600 watts coming in. It peaks out at around 800, 840 watts. But the trick to this is you need to be using all what you're making. You don't want any going back into the grid of these micro inverters. So 480 watt system will run most people's uh, ponds through the summer in daylight hours handsome right let's get you back outside a minute but I'm well chuffed with that 214 pounds of saving at that we're looking at five year payback on it under under five year payback yeah right let's get back out on the step but I'm well happy with that still more playing with this and tidying up and I have to get uh, the other charge controller working it's uh, got a little bit of a problem with it at the moment. It's not charging directly off the solar, so hence I'm having to use the battery charger. But as I say, the battery charger is charging from the ring in the workshop here, which is being powered by the solar anyway. As soon as the batteries top out, and they must be getting fairly close because we're showing 13.3 volts on them. I think they top out about 13.9, 14 volts. Then this one here will shut off. I need, do need to sort the uh, split controller out for that and the other inverter that runs the pond really right let's get out on the step okay so as you can see in there I was thinking it was 11 months but it, um, 12 months but it's only 11 months so we got to, to the 24th of April to come up on the 12 months a um, bit of apologies if there's any wind on the mic on the uh, external recorder but even this one picks up a bit of wind I'm on a cheapy camera at the moment couldn't be asked to get the decent one out oh there apologies if there's any wind um yeah it's working really well um basically i think anybody with a pond should put up to about a 500 watt solar system up um what's 500 pounds worth of solar when you spent so much on the pond and if you get your money back in five years then you're in profit all's more than well um i've got the batteries so i'm lucky in that respect that i can save the extra power I make during the day basically winter time running all I need to make each day to be able to run the pond overnight off the batteries is one kilowatt hour because at about 60 sort of 70 watts that will cover 12 hours of running so most of the winter barring a couple of really dark days the pond's been running entirely off of the solar at about 60 70 watts I've been making enough power to cover that for 24 hours a day there was a couple of really dark days where it struggled but I've got a switching point in there um, I've got another inverter set up and runs off the battery bank underneath that just runs the solar the inverter on the wall I've got for about that runs stuff in the workshop but the one that just runs the pond that one there will run constantly and run the pond with power coming into it from the solar during the day Overnight, it switches over, goes on to the batteries, and we'll run those until they drop down to about 
55% because they're lead acid batteries. You don't want to run them down too low. But it was just a couple of days in the winter when they got down too low and didn't recharge enough. So did all right on that. The batteries, if you're going to go into it, it can get expensive. And I don't think you'll ever get your money back on the batteries. It uh, just doesn't seem to work like that. But straight solar setup, your standard house running 400, 500 watts, something like that, most of the time, constantly. So you put a 500 watt solar system up, it'll run your pond, and it'll run a lot of stuff in your house in the summer. But it'll run, run your pond daylight hours through nearly all the year. So worth doing. Right, let's have a quick look at what I'm going to do down here a minute. I'll take the mic with me as well. There's the advantage. Fish on uh, push the covers back a bit, but it is a bit blowy and I've uh, spooked them a lot. But uh, let's have a quick look. Uh, as you can see, I've got the pressure washer out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to blast out the vortex, clean out the bottom of the uh, upflow filter as well. But, uh, all the fish are hanging low. Well, They're all hanging low. Yeah, they're all hanging low in the water. I'm not too uh, happy. Got a bit of crap on top of the water. I've uh, fired the skimmer up to a slightly higher speed. What I've uh, done over here in the vortex is I've uh, put a bit of jack matting just on top of the inlet. I've been uh, swapping, rotating with two or three pieces I got every day just to stop the bigger stuff from going down because it was getting into the upflow and the grill that's on the inlet was choking up down to the bottom so I kept on having to take the pipe off and clean it. But this has cured that. I'll soon be back onto the answer. That'll probably be in the next video. I'll be firing that one up. But, uh, this all wants a really good clean out. What I'll do is I'll leave this one upflow full of water, get the lance on the pressure washer, push it down through the media into the bottom, give it a good blast around, that'll stir up everything that's in the bottom, then dump it to waste. Do the same with this one, give this one a pressure wash out. I don't think you'll be able to see it, but uh, there's a fair bit of crap down there. Vortex still works really well for super low tech cleaning. It's, uh, it's just brilliant old-fashioned old school and works all right let's get the pressure washer over give it a blast out a minute and see what happens shall we righty -o. shut off as soon that got down to its level Pumps off now. Just open the bottom drain on that one. Let that one run down. I'll just let it go down so you can see the cracks in the bottom. But I'll fast forward all this bit. There, no doubt. Takes a minute or two to drain down. That's why we're waiting on that a second. Little easy podcast, see? Don't lose the media. Like I said, if you want a set, you know where to get them from. These probably won't get a clean today. They're a uh, 
15 last week so these will get the same treatment while they're full up like that I'll lift the flaps up stick a rod down through the lance on the uh, pressure washer give it a stir around in the bottom I'm not going to take the media and have a, give them a clean it don't really need it I'll also uh, stick the lance into the moving uh, beds here give them a stir around and then back the veg out as soon as I get the cover off that which will probably be in the next video as well all right let's pop you back on the uh, vortex a minute I'll switch the uh, waste pump on so I can uh, get it to go down a bit quicker Through the winter this runs uh, fine without uh, the ants are just the vortex I mean they're barely having any food so they're not that much waste but now as the food start to increase of course I'm on the wheat germ food starts to increase the amount of waste will increase in the water and uh, that will uh, mean the answer needs to go in might pop that on for the next video but uh, at the moment they're still feeding fairly low pond temps about 7.8 7.9 so still a bit on the low side I see some people are reporting temperatures a lot higher but uh, I'm quite exposed up here although you get the sunshine I'm still quite exposed There you go, that's the sort of crap in the bottom. A lot of it's actually already gone down through. I'll uh, give a quick purge a minute and uh, pull through what's in the pipe and give it a blast out with the pressure washer. pump down there now it's sucking air as well I'll just turn it off for a second and then it should get water back I've also just stuck the air on into the upflow so I'll dump that one straight afterwards I'll shove the lance in the bottom of it first Sunshine's very hit and miss this morning, but there, can't have it all.
So, quick blast with a pressure washer. I got the uh, grid plate in the bottom because uh, I got the odd front camper in the system. It slowly just gets as far as that. Right, she's pumping air now. Turn that one off. We'll open the uh, outlet on the static upflow for a minute or two, or a few seconds there just to let a bit of water down. I've actually taken some of the balls out. I haven't got quite so many in there. So I want to drop the water level a bit. camera kept defocusing each time I stuck it near this. One micro, you know what it's like. Right? Sprays out everywhere. Right, let's train that one down, pump night. This one now actually uh, takes a minute or two to drain down. But, uh, clean that one out and we can just refill and top the bomb back up. We'll call that this having its spring clean. As you can see it's turned out pretty shitty here over the last five minutes. Lost the sunshine. Can't win them all. But nearly there now with us anyway. Chest is starting to hurt a bit, so it's just in time. Got to get in another sit down. Right. Get the lids back on here as well.
back and water tight. That one must be all but empty. Let's finish that off a second and then I'll sit down on the step with a wet ass to finish the video off. There you go, I'm going to let the water pour back in to go down in there, fill up the upflow. More or less like another bird, it's not just about the odd little bit that might be in here. I'll just get trapped in the upflow. So it's that uh, goes in in the centre there is the out for it. Sucked out by the pump. So it's under gravity into the bottom of it and then sucked out. Water level in here quickly rise in a second. As it fills that up, everything will come up with the balls on top. So as you can see, I lessen down the balls. They're hiding in that uh, food bucket there at the moment. They'll probably go back in in the winter. Starting to tip it down now, so let's finish this video off in the workshop. So, okay, rain's more a stop play there, but I've finished anyway, so I'm not going to uh, complain too much at that. And it is only spring, come on, bit of sunshine right there. Solar's dropped right off. Making about 80 odd watts on each panel at the moment, but still, even with that uh, rain clouds over it, we're making power. Right, so, if you haven't already, please hit like and subscribe down here somewhere. Please smack that one. Always uh, welcome another subscription, getting close to uh, 4,000, which I uh, never ever thought I'd get. But uh, we'll be doing an update in another couple of weeks, which will be the final of the uh, spring clean, and we'll be in moving into uh, summer mode on the pond. Really looking forward to that. It'd be so lovely to get those covers off. Right, for me down here in wet Devon, could do with bloody wipers on the glasses. For me down here in a wet, sunny Devon, <laughs> I'll catch you all in another one in a few weeks' time. Bye-bye.